So this is something we have to focus on in our education systems. Hello. Um, so Guru, I've always wanted to ask this question uh, and then today I've got this opportunity. It's a very basic question but uh, uh, yeah, we've always been uh, told that, you know, everything is pre-decided in our fate and then it's all about luck. So I always keep arguing with my mom that, uh, you know, uh, I have to take risks, I have to become a big entrepreneur. She says, no, everything is pre-written. So uh, what is in our control and what is not in our control? It, it is always confusing. So do we just let things go to happen or keep struggling and then make things happen? It's, it's very confusing, Sadhguru. Please guide us. <laughs> <laughs> if you're making something happen, why should you struggle? Uh, but some things that really do not work in our favor, we keep really… Uh, if I have to give… By taking a risk, I would like to t <laughs> give an example. Uh, like for example, if we see Mark Zuckerberg's life story or Bill Gates' life story, it all began with uh, so much of uh, you know, controversies you know, and all that. But uh, at the end, they have really landed successful and now they're doing well. So uh, when we really see stories like this, it confuses us what part do we follow and then mm -hmm. do we be honest or just keep doing or following things the way things come? <laughs> There are many complexities in the question, please sit down. <laughs> I don't know where the honesty came into this and why it came to question. <laughs> anyway, see if you take charge of your physical body, if you have some mastery over your physical body, about fifteen to twenty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you take, ta take charge of your intel intelligence, fifty to sixty percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. If you cha take charge of your very life energy within you, one hundred percent of your life and destiny will be in your hands. The question is only, have you taken charge of this? The problem is you are trying to take charge of the world. No, you have to enhance this. If this is enhanced, the activity you perform is naturally enhanced. This is like, you know there is a Buddha circuit here, the F1 circuit is here in Delhi. You are on the Formula One track with your old Maruti 800. If you hit 300 kilometers per hour, all four wheels will fly in four different directions. If you want to be on an F1 track, you must have a reasonably good machine which can take it. So the important thing is you must enhance this one, but you are trying to enhance activity. If you enhance activity without enhancing this one, this will break up. This is what a lot of people are doing to themselves. But if you focus on enhancing this, you will take activity in your stride effortlessly. Then you will see creating something is not a struggle. I interviewed Satya Nadella, the Microsoft CEO who was born in India last week. And I said to him, the top nine CEOs in the world are all Indian. <laughs> Why are they all leaving the country? Why aren't we seeing a Microsoft or a Google being created here in this environment? Because in this country, we still have a, a socialist back backlog. There are some people like this who raised their hands in the beginning, who doesn't like anything to succeed. Mm -hmm. If anything succeeds, they will go against it. Anything doing well, they don't like it. People are happy, they don't like it. So people go out and thrive. So should there be a Google or a Microsoft here in India? I'm sure it's bound to happen because the time for Google and Microsoft is past, something new.